Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I've sat down in front of the camera, but we have moved. You can probably tell I'm in a different setup. The guitars are in the other room. I love having them in the living room, but I'm not really sure what's gonna happen in this place. There is a lot to catch you up on, but I do want this video to be all about the unboxings I have. I went to New York this weekend. There were a bunch of YouTubers gathering there, some people flying in from other countries. In particular, I got to see my very good friend, Gwenny from Style by Gwenny. We had this awesome dinner with our friend April from April's House of Flair. We want her to start a YouTube channel. Everyone is trying to get her to do it because she has incredible style, just this really unique sense of style. Her hats are amazing. Her puzzle collection, oh my goodness. Okay, so check her out on Instagram and give her a push if you can. Tell her, tell her to join YouTube. But we all got to have dinner and cocktails. It was amazing and I did get a couple things there. Now I am technically supposed to be doing the 75 day challenge where I'm not supposed to be shopping, clearly not doing so well at that because we're here for a shopping haul. <laughs> and I'm also posting my outfit every single day on Instagram for 75 days. I've done okay with that, I'm not gonna lie, they're not the most exciting outfits, but I am consistent with posting and it's helped me get more excited about my summer wardrobe. So we moved and I started the challenge July 1st, I'm about halfway through. It's not going so well. I have definitely bought a couple of things here, but I'm kind of readjusting the challenge where I'm gonna be donating really nice things for everything that I purchase. I've had to get a few things for work. There are just some things that I've wanted, so here we are, and all the sales are kicking off right now. It's definitely been difficult, but I'm gonna be donating some really high quality items like good denim, cashmere, all that stuff, not just garbage stained t-shirts, which I don't donate anyway. I like use them for cleaning rags and try to repurpose them or sew them or something. So I'm making up for it that way. So it's only a one in one out kind of situation. Hopefully it's even more out than in eventually. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get to the unboxing. Hopefully I'll do a video soon giving you a life update, but here we go. So I did get some things from Prada. I'm gonna end with those just real quick. I did get some new sneakers from Allbirds. I've wanted a couple just really easy casual shoes. We are living in the city now. With being in Baltimore, I'm walking a lot and I'm getting like at least 5,000 steps a day, which is so much better than when I was living in the suburbs. But how cute are these? I love Allbirds as a brand. I've purchased from them for at least five years now. I started buying them when I was living in Rhode Island, but these are very pretty pale blue with little yellow details. They go with everything. I love light blue in the summer. Goes with denim jeans, like like denim cutoffs and any kind of t-shirt you'd want to wear. It has this whole like, I don't know, like it reminds me of sunshine, like clouds and, and sunshine, like a summer sky. And they were 25% off and tax free for some reason in New York. I wonder if all states will do like a tax free week. It's usually before the school year starts. I know Maryland just had theirs and everything under a hundred dollars if it was a like useful item. I think that's how the sales associate described it because I was really surprised that they ended up being about a hundred dollars the Allbirds shoes range, I think, from about 90 to 150, depending on the style you get, but they're very comfortable. I like their efforts and sustainability. Definitely worth checking out. I also went to Cezanne. Now, I have only ever purchased from Cezanne online. I wasn't necessarily planning on getting anything because their clothes are quite expensive, but Ben loved this dress on me. And he's pretty vocal, like he lets me know. I ask him, of course, uh, what he likes if I try something on. I was feeling unsure about it, but he was so certain that it looked good, that he loved it. So I did end up getting this dress. Honestly, if he wasn't there, if I didn't get his opinion, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Um, just cause it's not usually something I go for, but I don't know, I liked getting his opinion and he felt so strongly about it. So that made me feel good in that. It is a, like mini fit and flare, very, very pretty white dress. I mean, don't get me wrong, I did like it enough to try it on in the first place, but it was just so unusual for me. I don't usually go for a fit and flare style anymore. I'll have to have cutaways because holding it up, you know, doesn't really do it justice. It does have this little tie and it's quite short. I'm not really sure what to do about it because it's way too short to tie a good bow. You'll see what I mean in the pictures. Uh, so I'm still working that out. But again, Ben just said he loved it so much. So I figured I'd give it a try. 
Oh gosh, I have been so tired recently. Sherpa has started this thing where she baps me in the face at like 4 a.m. So she'll start at four. She'll maybe give up and then start again at 5.30. She'll do it again at 6.30. Ben has usually kissed me goodbye at this point because he leaves between like six and 6.30. So I've just, <laughs> I've been so tired. This morning I gave her a little bap back, like very gently, <laughs> but like, you know, you can only fight baps with baps and I'm just like, boop, you know? So I've been so tired. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully she stops soon. I don't know what else to do about that. Now onto the main event. I did get a couple things from Prada. Now I've never purchased anything from a Prada boutique before. I've gotten some things at consignment stores. Their clothes are really nice, but I've just never been motivated to get anything in boutique before. I think when you see this, you will know exactly why I wanted it. It is very me. So on Saturday, we met up at Saks Fifth Avenue with like a bunch of other YouTubers. It was so much fun, like randomly running into people here and there. But we went into a bunch of the little alcove stores they have, stopped in Prada. I made a beeline for this. I saw it from the outside and it was, I mean, it was just too cute. To quote April, I was making dolphin noises. I was so excited, squeaking away. So it comes in this little box and then this little bag to house the teeny little bag inside. I did get another micro bag. I know it's crazy, but technically it's all crazy. So I lean into that crazy and get exactly what I want. It is an adorable little crossbody wicker bag. It has white leather all on the sides. The zipper is very smooth, which is something that I would wanna watch out for in this kind of style, because otherwise it can be a bit awkward wrapping around, but I just, I love this so, so much. I'll give you a little spin. You can see it opens up like this, and just around the back. Now, I'm really sorry if this ever goes out of focus, because this is a new filming spot for me. It's my first time back, so we'll see how this goes. You can see the little D-rings on the side. And then here is the strap. It's a pretty generous strap. Now they had a couple styles, like in that crochet style on the front and the back instead of it being wicker. I know that they have a pale purple and a pale green right now. I liked this one the best for, I don't know, whatever reason, those were very, very pretty too. But I liked how neutral this was. I've been looking for that little summer bag that can go with everything. It is pretty generous on the inside for a micro bag, but I will do a proper review of this. I might do a dedicated video for the what fits, but I can tell you right now, it's a couple cards, keys, maybe a lipstick, that's it. I don't need to tell you, you're not getting your phone in here, that's gonna be in your pocket or your hand. Sunglasses will be on my face or my shirt, something like that. But this is the first thing that I got from Prada. It was actually a little gift from Ben. He saw how excited I was, now, I mean, I say little, I mean, in physical size little. It was a very, very big gift, but he saw how excited I was and he offered to get it for me. Up next, the second thing that I got, and I actually got this for myself. We were in Soho on Sunday before we left New York and had to drive back to Baltimore. So we stopped in there. We were just running around. So that's when I went to the Cezanne store. Really beautiful store. Oh, well, that's actually when we went to Allbirds first. So we were running around and having such a good time. I saw Prada and was like, let's poke our heads in. Let's just, just take a look. So it comes in this adorable little box. This is a proper unboxing. I haven't seen this since I left and I've been dying to open it, but I wanted to film it. So pretty blue paper that says Prada. Ooh. And then in this padded, padded uh, little dust bag that also says Prada. It's very similar to what they keep their shoes in. Ooh, this is nice. So it's not gonna really show up on camera, but it has felt on the inside. So it's like a silk satin envelope on the outside and then this felt fabric. So it's really padded. This is my very first SLG from Prada and my very first ostrich piece. I don't have any other exotics. Nope, I don't, but this is a little card holder in a deep blue ostrich. And the thing that made me notice it is this bright blue interior. I, I'm gonna need a second, because as I said, this is a proper unboxing. It's been living in that box for a week now. I finally got a chance to film. Work has been crazy, and 
it's so pretty <laughs> this is so so pretty now what's crazy is this was pretty much the same price as that little bag i got now they pulled similar things a bit the other one has a crossbody strap um has cards i did not need another slg i think i've probably made videos talking about how i don't have a really expansive slg collection i like to keep that small and something has to be pretty special for me to get it just one more time you see the beautiful prada written out i actually love the prada font i know that's a very specific thing to like but i generally don't like words on things like i i don't like I don't like words written across bags for some reason. The one exception is my Dior bag with all the crazy beading on it. Because there's so much else going on with that bag, it's like you almost don't notice the Dior as much, at least I don't. But I don't like a, a plain bag with words on it. I, very weird, um, very specific, but I actually love the Prada font. There's just something so pleasing and elegant about it. Maybe it's the A's, I, I don't know what it is but I love it. But this is really flexible. This accordion style, I guess it's technically not an accordion style, which, what would you call this? Cause it's connected at the bottom. Either way, it seems pretty useful. I'll let you know how I get on with it because I'm pretty dedicated to my Ferragamo French style wallet that I got in Boston. I picked that up like about six, seven years ago and it's been my go-to. I even got my mother a matching one. So hopefully I like using this cause it is, the most expensive wallet I will probably ever purchase. You know what I would love? A matching peekaboo. Oh, kitty's eating. You know what? Since the kitties are chomping away, I'm gonna give you a little spin, show you around the goods, and then I can mute them and put on some fancy music. Cue the music. <laughs> lunch so you might hear them chomping in the background but that is everything that I wanted to share with you from our New York trip I cannot wait to go back now that we're living in Baltimore I'm hoping we can zip up on the train every now and then because it's only like a few hours away and then you save on parking all the tolls getting into the city that's pretty crazy so if we can just take a quick train ride up maybe for a weekend or something I'd really love to do that Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks so much for bearing with me and for anyone coming back to this video after my very, very long absence. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll get back on a schedule. I wanna do my once a week videos again. It's just about getting back into the swing of things because things have been pretty hectic since we moved. But I just wanna say, I really appreciate you being here. Until next time, bye. Oh, you know what it is? This bag is so bright white, the camera can't focus quite on me when I'm holding that up. You know what? I'm just gonna take that out. Oh, that's gonna be weird. I really hate that in this new apartment, so many people walk by our door, so I hear them as soon as they're there, and I'm thinking, if I can hear that door opening, they can hear me talking to myself, and that, that just makes me feel very uncomfortable. Oh gosh. It's like, who's this loser? Oh gosh, we have another YouTuber in the building. Ooh. Sherpa, are you vomiting? Oh. Sherpa. Oh. I'll be right back. Sherpa Derp, are you okay? Oh, Derpy.